Hey guys, this is Alfred George Rock, and today I'm going to be doing another f review of a free application in the Google Play Store called Gas Buddy by GasBuddy.com. It's an application that allows you to find cheap gas. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the Gas Buddy application itself here. Find cheap gas. And here we are. So you got a Gas Buddy account? Yes, you can log in or you can hit no. You can see they give away $250 of free gas every week. I'll go ahead and hit no, sign up now, it just takes a minute. You can also hit no again, and you can use this application without signing up for an account, which is very nice. So gasbuddy.com, you can search gas prices by city or zip, find gas near me, you can log in if you have an account. There are some settings, you can share the application, you can get your fuel type, the distance, and all the stations if you want to show them all. If you're a member, you can log in again, GasBuddy app, uh, choose between the home screen or stations near me, that's the startup. Coming back, you can use a custom keyboard, and then there is some support like the help, uh, the FAQ, the about, and leaving feedback. So jumping back, let's go ahead and use this application itself. We'll go ahead and type in a relatively close zip code. Hit search. And as you can see, it says loading stations. Tap on a price to update, and these are the gas prices near me. So you can see, <laughs> really, no... Uh, close, I mean very cheap gas stations. The closest one I see is $4.13. Um, so scrolling through the list, you can see quite a bit, uh, quite a few stations here in general. Now on the main screen, there actually are some tabs up here. Regular, there is mid-grade gas, there's premium gas, and there's diesel gas. Uh, you can see there also is an ad. Down here, there's a reload button. You can sort by price, um, as you can see there. And you can also go to a map view which will load up. One thing I do like is that this application is actually relatively quick. You can see the scrolling is actually pretty smooth as opposed to some other applications out there. You can see all the gas stations that load up. Even with all these gas stations loaded up, the scrolling stays pretty darn smooth. You can pinch to zoom in, which is also pretty smooth. Uh, you can take a look around. Again, pinch to zoom. You also have zoom buttons. And then you can jump into a list view from here as well, which will uh, take you back to that regular view. You can see you got Costco gas for $4.19. Again, sort by price. This is to kind of rearrange the sorting. Um, now, I wish there were actually was some more sorting options. Now, if you tap menu, you can hit filters, and that will show you the different um, gas that you want to select. Station. There's also distance filters. Um, so I'll do up to six miles. There's price filters. Um, let's say for 49 I guess you can show all stations or you can uh, turn that off applying the filter jump back reloading you can actually pull to refresh just like Facebook or Twitter tapping menu again you got the map view your settings you can save your search you can go back home and then you can search once again so this is a really nice application if you don't know the area you're in to find cheap gas all right, guys, so with gas prices on the rise worldwide today, this application is understandably extremely popular with over 5 million downloads, and it has an average 4.6 at a 5-star rating. Now, I think people are rating this high because it does something that's really useful, and that's finding cheap gas, and that saves you money, and that allows you to get more Android devices, so it's all good there. But it's not a very well-executed application in the terms of it just lags a lot. There's choppiness, there's slowness. Other than that, the application is great. Even the interface is pretty nice, but it's just a little bit slow for my taste. Even on a premium device like the Galaxy Nexus, that's something I don't want to see. Now, regardless of that, the application, again, does something that's really, really useful. For that reason, I would be keeping it on my phone if I drove. And if you drive, I recommend you do the same thing. So, thanks, you guys, for watching. Have a great day.